Check this out. I have an apple on a stick. What do you think is going to happen to the apple when I hit the stick with this rubber mallet? Watch. Can you see how the apple is moving up the stick? What's up with that? Why would the apple go up the stick? Well, let's think about this. The apple has mass, so that means it has inertia. So Newton's first law of motion, first part of it states, objects at rest tend to stay at rest. This apple has a lot of mass, so it has a lot of tendency to stay at rest relative to the stick. So as I hit the stick with these quick blows, the apple pretty much stays at rest while the stick quickly moves through it. That's the first part of Newton's first law. Now we're going to try something a little different. Last time we hit the top of the stick. This time I'm going to hit the bottom of the stick on this box. Predict what's going to happen to the position of the apple. Ready? So this time, the apple moved downward. What's going on here? Well, it's still Newton's first law of motion, but it's the second half. Objects in motion tend to stay in motion due to their inertia until acted upon by an outside force. So as I'm moving both the stick and the apple downward, right, they're in motion. And then when I stop the stick, the apple's inertia keeps it moving down the stick. Now, it eventually stops because of the friction between the stick and the apple. That's Newton's first law of motion, that's science. So what does this have to do with car crashes? Well, neck injuries, often called whiplash, are the most commonly reported injuries in car crashes. Usually happens in rear collisions, but not all the time. So let's take a closer look at what's happening. It might help if we turn our apple on a stick on its side. This time, the apple is gonna be your head, stick is gonna be your car. Let's watch what happens to your head during a rear collision. Look, looks like it's moving backwards, right? So during a rear end collision, your car is propelled forward along with your seat and your torso. But your head, if it's not well supported, will lag behind because of its inertia until your neck reaches its limit and then it whips your head forward. That's whiplash. So a good seat and head restraint is very important in supporting your head so that it doesn't lag behind and it stays with your torso during that rear collision.